Jay, what else? What else? What else? We got on the docket, man. We were talking about that. Can you put it up? Pause. So I want to talk about some of the feedback about me interviewing Bolt. Blockstar, Pop Smoke's uh, killer. Um, I didn't do that interview because I don't care. That's what a lot of people seem to think is that Adam just doesn't give a fuck. That's not the case at all. I did that interview because I thought that it was an important historical record of somebody who was involved in one of the most tragic, insane stories in rap history. Tragic and insane story in rap history. So Adam 22 is supposed to interview Pop Smoke's killer and he didn't do it for the views. He did it for historical cataloging. He's got to make sure he gets an accurate record of hip hop history of a major tragic moment. First of all, may I ask who the fuck is going to Adam 22 for hip hop history? Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> and fuck that bullshit. Like, don't even call I, him a nigga, bro. No, he don't even deserve sorry, to be called I'm a sorry, nigga, I'm man. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Are we really upset about this? Like, do we did we think anything else? Nah, I'm not no, surprised. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not no, surprised. No, no, no. And I feel like we've seen this do. happen before. We like Ain't nobody interviewed nobody killer. What is you talking about? Ooh, that's like pulling Nipsey. That's like you pulling Nipsey Hussle's killer up and putting them on a pod. Bro, you said nobody interviewed you know, nobody killer. Maybe interviewed Bank Row Fresh killer. Um, I think Vlad I probably interviewed Vlad. Killer, like bro. And okay, yeah. let me ask you this: Plan. I'm not even playing devil's advocate. I'm, I'm not even playing devil's yeah. advocate. Yo, we no, had we had we had big networks interviewers probably interview mur murderers while they was in jail. We it ain't like we ain't see it before. We've seen it before. We see this is disgusting, though. This has got to be disgusting, bro. We, and, and this is where I say curation of culture is so important, bro. We have to make it. This this cannot be okay. We cannot turn somebody famous for killing somebody. Like y'all really making Jay Z lyrics come alive even more, nigga. Jay. He's not gonna be famous at all, Jay. That, that nigga. Yeah. yeah, one, he's not gonna be famous. I'm with you, Nick. But also, you had like we don't have movies about murderers. Like they have TV shows about. Historical, like tragic. Jeffrey event. Dahmer. True. Like, come True. on. So True. I'm not True. saying that this wasn't distasteful. I'm not saying that. But we can't act like that. We ain't see this in media. We've been seeing this. But what happened is when something is in, like, in our in realm, our right? And right. when it's right. close that we we can see, like, we could. It's somebody we care about. It's somebody that we love. It's distasteful, bro. Like, yeah. I, I'm disgusted by that. I didn't shed a tear when Pop Smoke passed, but I definitely not, I, as a part of somebody that's in the hip hop culture, I definitely ain't about to be like, yeah, bring this nigga in and let him, yo, pull out the, pull out the chair and like, go get that nigga a pizza and shit and tell us your story again. I'm gonna fuck with, get this nigga shit out of here. I, all right. You know what I'm more upset about is the fact that we still allow Adam 22 to be a part of our culture, bro. I feel like we need to squarely move this nigga out. Why? Why? Yeah. Nah, bro. Why? He don't have why? Because he doing shit like this. What's wrong and, with this? And he started bringing on mad conservative right wing ass niggas on his platform. Like, all right. So the nigga Adam 22 brought in black hip hop culture to build up the man. There's a whole story. I know there's there's videos about it. Adam 22 was a skateboarder at first and he, he was into like fucking rock and roll shit. The shit didn't work out. He started a skateboard shop, didn't work out. Started a YouTube channel around skateboarding and BMXing and, and X, X Games, it didn't work. Guess what happens? He pivots because he bought the loser's building. He starts bringing in fucking hip hop <clears throat> personalities. He's, his numbers start going crazy. So that's what he do. He starts dumping money into bringing hip hop in. Then he starts hiring a bunch of black personalities on his channel. Get his joint built up to like 4 million subscribers. Fired all of those black people that he hired to be a part of his channel. Started bringing in right wing niggas. The shit starts going down, not doing the numbers. And then now he black doing, he's back doing black culture shit. That's the reason why. Nigga, he don't give a fuck about hip hop. He wasn't born in our culture. He don't care about our culture. He just utilizes the culture so that he can get his numbers up. And then it's fuck niggas. Well, it's the same problem. Who, who, who doesn't do that? I'm about to say, yeah, even, even I'm, blacks do I'm that. I'm pretty sure that everybody that booked bank shot don't give a damn about bank shot, but they know he could bring an audience. I'm pretty sure the club owners don't give a damn about the, the uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the, the club, the club owners probably don't give a damn about your comedian, your, your, 
All right, bro. But, not, but you could use That's anybody as I am. Bro. I'm just saying. I'm trying to make it relatable. But the same thing. You, what happened is now nah, we don't need to take his platform. No, just don't watch it. Everybody that got something to say is the same ones watching it. I, but, I but guess what? I'm, 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 we seen. Guess what we see? We seen Gail Gail King interview uh, R. Kelly. What does that do for the for the uh, f- for the victims that he's raped? They gave him a but, big platform. Yeah, let me let me say, what's the difference? I bet you Gail King was shaking that big juicy booty up on the dance floor when she was a kid to R. Kelly. She probably loved that dude at one point. So like, yo, when he falls from grace and he's being accused of something, bro, she's going to have a unique perspective and she cares about the culture. So she's going to make sure that she asks tough questions. She's going to hold him accountable. Bro, it bro, is what it is. Don't hold nobody accountable. What do you, hold up, hold up. Hold on, hold on. And at that point, he was on trial. He had not been convicted. So it was an uncle. So at the time, you're bringing somebody in that's not convicted. You're having hard questions, you're asking hard questions, and you're trying to get this nigga to give you the real. Oh, I'm so you're talking about a convicted nigga that we know did it because he was convicted in trial. Go ahead. All I'm saying is, I get all that, but all I'm saying is, bro, that ain't for media to do. We got court systems and fucking legislate. We got people for that. We ain't lawyers. We ain't therapists or none of that. I'm not saying that I, I, I don't agree. I'm not saying that. I'm not necessarily saying I don't agree with it. I'm just saying, what's the difference? Like, he did a he did a horrific act as well. R. Kelly, all of these. Ted Bunny, we got people that's that that's famous. Jeffrey Dahmer, like that, that had stories on Netflix that we, 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 we have to relive the trauma. We watch it for our entertainment. We have movies that's based on real, real life stories that we watch for our entertainment. So now, when somebody can... And the only reason I'm arguing this is because he's able to do it himself. Because guess what? The network's going to do it. If he don't do it, a network's going to do it. And they're going to pay somebody that's going to host. Even though, so now you got somebody that's in charge of his business. He can do whatever he want with his business. And now we're seeing it in real time. Yeah, because we don't agree with it because he killed somebody that we look up to or somebody that we love and pop smoke. I'm not saying that that was the best. Or I'm not saying that was right or wrong. All I'm saying is, if he don't do it, the networks do it, and guess what? The networks gonna hire a black person to do it. But guess what? Now, guess what? Guess what we saying now? We are saying somebody who's solely in charge of his business calling the shots. So that means that I can do the same thing. Somebody else black can do the same thing. Academics can, can do the same thing. Shit, academic came up fucking highlighting uh the murderers or 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 or, or the shit in Chirac. That's how he came up. Highlighting trauma. He's black. Yeah, he got a lot of flack for it, but look at him now. So I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not saying that we should look to, to Adam 22 as our saving grace or anything like that. All I'm saying is, bro, it's other people that did it as well. He's just white and he looked different. So now we want to point the finger to him. No. Yeah, hey, that's the problem. Stay in your lane. Interview the whites. I guess. Why you can't that's do it? That? That's what it comes down to. Interview the whites that be doing fucked do up shit. Yeah, like. Why ain't nobody black like... interview him? Well, how come none of us, how come academics ain't reach out to Pop Smoke? Kids? I don't even know nigga name. How come he ain't interview him? You know what I mean? And I, I will I would like to I would like to reply to your your last statement, Jay, and say the results of how we handle our culture is different. Meaning that we're gonna be cognizant of what to talk about, how to present it, how we make our clips. We're not gonna make we're not it's not gonna be like another another black person kills another black person. Like we know how to clip up our content, we know how to make Ooh. you know. Stuff. We know how to preserve our own culture. Like, you? bro, we, oh, who are you talking about? Yeah, me and you. Bro, I'm, I'm not talking about me and you. I'm talking about the, the niggas that's on top right now. That's probably why we're not on top because we know how to cut up our clips. No, let's talk about the niggas that's on top. They, that's ain't, they, don't, the give no, got no, they don't give no damn about how to, they're going to clip it the worst way possible. Mm, you think so? Let's look it up. I'm niggas just don't know the better. Yeah. It's all about clicks, man. You're going to click, you're going to put whatever you in your caption to, to get the clicks for some people. Yes. Shave room, niggas ain't shit. Shave room, oh, yeah. all of them. Hollywood unlocked. Academics himself, all of them, all of them. So you don't feel like we should have the right to profit off of our trauma, but every, you. So you feel like everybody should be able to profit off of everybody's trauma, and we not get exclusive rights to try, profit off of our own. I mean, it sounds you know crazy. What it sounds like? Question: what? We can run around and say nigga to each other and be ignorant, yes. but the moment a white person yes. say nigga is is is, is dead wrong. That shit is the dumbest shit ever. That shit don't even make no it's sense. Not, that it's is not stupid. dumb. Is why stupid. is it that? Well, why is it that? Why is it that our shit has to be for everybody and other people's shit gotta just be for them? 
Why has it got to be that way? Why can't we have our own shit? We can why have our own that? shit. But when it so when it goes against, against, I'm saying it. when it goes against our culture, them it makes no sense. It's contradicting. I'm not. If it's, it's something that's going to build our culture, yeah, we can have our own shit. But we talk about tearing down our culture. Cool. We can talk about the niggas that we kill and and that don't make no fucking sense. Yes, we should be at. We should have the ability to self-regulate as we please as a part of our culture. And if somebody outside of our culture doesn't understand, that's not their fucking business, bro. Yes, we can build up and we can tear down as need be. Yes, that is a part of having a culture. That's a part of building an empire. That's a part of building yo strength, power. You got to cut out the weak and you got to build up the strong. So why the fuck do y'all keep allowing these white people to get in your head? That they should have the same rights we no nigga. I don't go into Japan telling Japanese niggas what to do because I ain't trying to see no Yakuza niggas. I ain't going into Russia telling Russian niggas what to do because I ain't trying to fuck with I'm the Russian mafia. I'm not saying mafia. that we can't have exclusive rights to our our culture. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is it's contradicting to say like if if so you say, they can't tear us apart, but we can tear us apart. If anything, yeah. I would think it should be the other way around. Let them try to tear us down. We shouldn't tear ourselves down. We like we're tearing ourselves down before we even get a key to the goddamn door. We're gonna we're not even gonna make it to, to success. I I can agree with you, but I would also like to say the world is full of contradictions. <laughs>